Hello, this is Hawk Agadreen, and today we are going to be reading SCP-3059, also known as Infectious... Uh... Actually, I forgot the in in nickname. Let's just get it right into it. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-3059, Object Class, Euclid, Special Containing Procedures, SCP-3059 is to be held on site at least 20 meters away from any and all physical text, fiction and non-fiction. Foundation documentation is not allowed within 50 meters of SCP-3059. Should any breach in containment occur, the incident must be logged immediately and reported to the current project overseer. Description. SCP-3059 is an 18-year-old Hispanic male named Sam Michaels. SCP-3059 passively affects all fiction and non-fiction literature. Written editorially within roughly 20 meters of it. Affected text is eventually altered to include Sam Michaels in some form or the other, with text closer to SCP-3059 being affected at a faster rate. As texts are mentioned, the parts of SCP-3059's body closest to the text slowly disintegrate into a substance similar to fine dust, which is then pulled into the text. Collection of this substance has so far proven impossible. The rate of the disintegration is directly tied to the distance of a text to SCP-3059. Once the text has absorbed enough of, of SCP-3059, a character named Sam Michaels will appear within the text, which is always physically identical to SCP-3059 apart from clothing. The importance within the text being depend on how much of SCP-3059 the text is able to absorb. Or the maximum of amount of body map as SCP-3059 and is able to loot any given text varies from text to text. While some texts do not progress further than Sam Michaels being mentioned, other texts may a change the feature a much more major point as a much more major point within it. What are these about? This is P four twenty three and this is SCP twenty nine sixteen. Okay. It's like we'll have to check those out later. This process is permanent and is painful to SCP-3059. The scribes have this feeling as if it were actually losing the parts that were absorbed. All parts which no longer present continue to function as if they were still there. Currently, 23% of SCP-3059's body mass has been lost. SCP-3059 was discovered in a library in New York City, New York, by police officers following complaints of a screaming man inside the library. After SCP-3059 was apprehended and taken into custody, it was identified by the John Smith Protocol and subsequently taken into Foundation custody. <sighs> Any changes made to a text are reflected on every single copy of the text produced after the alter the alteration ha has occurred. In certain texts, mainly non-fictional and historical texts, changes to it may also affect other documentation, creating fictitious persons in related media. These fictional people do not actually exist, with details about them often being obscure and vague, featuring only a single distinguishing feature or feat. Some examples can be seen before. For a current list of all affected texts, please see the current SCP-3059 project overseer. Type of text, fiction slash fantasy. Title, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Author. Who cares? They're er, er, 
or an objectively bad person anyway. Excerpt. Harry walks around on the other er, er, pairs, trying to correct those who were doing the spell wrong. Ginny was this teamed with Sam Michaels. She was doing very well, whereas Sam was either very bad or unwilling to jinx her. Notes, there are no other changes made to the text. Simply changing the name of the character Michael Connor, a minor character, to Sam Michaels. Type of text. Fiction slash historical. Title, A Thousand and Splendid Sons. Author, Ka Alid Osini. Excerpt. My name is Sam. I feel you should know the name of the person who must do this to you. I know you do not want to be here, and neither do I, Talib said, but this is my duty, Amishira, so please kneel. Her Bible verse was interrupted. What do you mean, Miriam said. I know it hurts, trust me. I know, but please kneel here, Hamishira, and look down. In confusion, Ariam did as she was told. It seems not only is SCP-3059's importance to the story affected by the time spent in close proximity, but other her character his reactions to difference is from the original old text. Type of text dictionary. Title Dictionary of English Language and Culture. Author Logman and Dictionaries. Excerpt. Sam Michaels. Proper noun. The name given to the bleeding vagrant. My name is Sam Michaels. It hurts. It's like I'm it's like being pulled in a million different directions. I don't know where I am. This place isn't right. Notes. It is possible that a degree of SCP 3059's feelings also bleed into the text. As well. The pain and confusion seem to be a re recurring theme. Type of text, nonfiction. Title, The Elements. Author, Theodore Gray. Excerpt. And I have to thank my good friend, Sam Michaels. It was only with his help and love of the elements that I was able to foster my own. Sadly, he is currently going through great sickness, one that you don't recover from. I wish him luck in dealing with it and in what comes after. Notes. Theodore Gray was later or questioned about the excerpt. He expressed familiarity with uh, the written text in Sam Michaels, despite the fact that he was unable to recall what he looked like or where they met. Research into the possibility of a mimetic side effect of the text are ongoing. Type of text, historical piece. Title, redacted. Author, redacted. Excerpt of affected text, redacted. Additional notes. See Addendum 3059-2. Addendum 3059-1 is an interview. Interviewed is SCP-3059. Interviewer is Dr. Dartshire. The date is December 23rd, 2013. Begin log. Good morning, in SCP-3059. How are we doing in today? Better, I guess. Well, that's good to hear. I'm going to ask you some questions now so we can better understand your affliction and hopefully stop it. You okay with that? Yeah, of course. I'll, uh... I'll try my best anyways. Well then, wonderful. Let's begin. So, well then, when did you start, when did you discover this thing affecting you? At the, uh, at the library. Where you were, where you were recovered, right? Yeah, there. I was trying to get a book to read, but I couldn't. What, what do you mean? Were you uh, unable to physically pick it up or what? I could pick it up, but I couldn't read it. The words were there, they existed, but I just couldn't read them. It just hurt.
Really? Was there any particular area that hurt? It hurt? At first, it was just a dull throb in my hands. But the moment I tried to read, I felt something go through my chest. I fell to the ground and then I was there. In the book, I mean. It was Harry Potter and the Order of the, of the Phoenix. I could see the group of people. I had never read the books, yet I knew all of them. There was a girl named Ginny there, casting jinxes. If I was vivid, I was there holding a wand. Then a haze as I saw a mother. And there, black hair, green eyes. I remember friends, family, teachers. My whole life there flashed before my eyes. But that part, I don't know how to describe it. It wasn't a dream. It was real. But it felt like one. Then it all disappeared. For a flash out somewhere else. I was on my knees and there was a spear through my chest. I was screaming and then breaking and falling. I blinked and I was lying on the floor. I was bleeding everywhere. I called for help but no one came. I tried to call out for my mom but names kept popping up. I didn't know which one was right. Are you sure you were bleeding? There were no reports of blood in the, the library at all. I'm still bleeding. I don't know what it is, but it's blood. I bleed around books more strongly than anything else, but I'm always bleeding, slipping through the cracks. The only way to go is down. Alright, I think that's all we can get today. Don't need to press further. We'll see what we can do, alright? Thank you. End the log. Addendum, 3059 2. Instant report, 3059 1. Date, October 13th, 2015. Location, Valley of the Kings, Luxor, Egypt. Summary of events. 8.32 a.m. Several news outlets in Egypt report the discovery of a new tomb in the Valley of Kings, a location near Luxor, e Egypt. The news outlet report that not only is it one of the largest discovered, it is mostly untouched. Foundation database intercept keyword Sam Michaels and takeover operations. Nine forty seven AM Foundation operations take over unearthing the tomb. A small exploration team is sent in to determine any possible hazards. Once the team returns and gives a go ahead, a full exploration group is formed and sent in. Ten eleven AM Reports from the exploration team begin. The tomb seems unfinished, with many dead ends and empty rooms. All glyphs found this leading up to the main tomb are nonsensical. 11.58 a.m. The main tomb is identified. The door to the room features eight women and dead on the ground. In the middle of the scene, three women are holding spears through a man's chest. All the women are wearing identical clothing with some sort of bird mask. The glyphs we it, it, it translate to mostly gibberish, but with recurring words shattered, hurt, and sealed. The team even enters the main tomb. A sarcophagus is found, completely featureless, roughly human shaped, and made out of iron. It lacks many of the features of other sarcophagi, having only a single layer and missing many of the features that would normally be found. The body found within it is extracted from the site and sent to Site 19 for identification.
Test results determined that there was a 98.6% match with SCP-3059. There's something wrong here. Not just the incident, but the entirety of SCP-3059. Why are the only ones who have noticed any of the changes so far? Harry Potter is one of the most popular book series in the world. Yet not one person knows the change made, even if it was simple. Then this. The Valley of the Kings has been searched through extensively. Yet no one has questioned how a tomb this large slipped by unnoticed. Why? Why did we notice these at all? Furthermore, what haven't we noticed? Site Director Sam Redacted. Completed Chronicle. Oh. This is literally everything that Sam has changed. What's this one? Why is it taking so long to load? Oh, it's just broken, I guess. Weird. That seems like a tomorrow video, though. That was SCP-3059. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. We're going to be reading the completed chronicle of this SCP tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!